Welcome to the show. This is Ghana MT, and my name is Ghana Boy. <laughs> Ghana. There's a lot of questions in my mind right now, and I need answers to those questions. Ghana Education Service. Congratulations. We have new uniforms. And so what? What is next? What are we talking about? Does it mean that we don't we can't set any national educational policy to regulate things in this country? There are so many things we should be considering. Students under trees, schools under trees, students kneeling down before learning. Those are priorities we should take care of. Not uniform. If we wear the best of uniforms and we go and sit on the floor to write. What is the sense in it? I have so many questions I can't think for right now. People are asking that this uniform, which company is in charge of producing this uniform, who is going to pay for it? Is it the government or is the parent? If it is the government, it is just a simple question. Where is the money we are going to use on that project? If it is the parent, Parents, we have not asked for uniform, so we don't have money to pay for this school uniform. If we have money to wear, if we have money to change the uniform, let's rather change our system, the educational system. It's becoming outmoded. Students are learning, but things are not going. The rightful measures, apparatus to learn, to experiment, are the rightful decisions we should be taking concerning our education system. Not changing the uniform. Changing the uniform will not bring any addition to the mind. We are playing games with the, the life of our children because anybody who comes into power wants to change something, wants to do something. But there are no national educational policies to regulate education in Ghana. In fact, Mr. President, some Ghanaians are saying this uniform is not even nice. Who designed it? Who is in charge of producing this uniform to the student? We want to know as concerned citizens of this country. You have made us to know that we should not be just spectators. How much is involved? We want to know. Come out and tell us. So the next question I want to ask. Have we really said to analyze the cost involved in saying that Nationwide, Wayek is going to be in charge of class 2, class 4, class 6 exams. How much does it cost to even organize the WASI exam for the whole country just once a year? Not to talk of now, it's going to be on four or three bases. This is too much. Do we have those requisite uh, uh, funds? to push this agenda or is this a one-day wonder?